is Slata Blauer and you are watching Violin and Viola TV. This video is all about violin sizes. If you're interested in knowing everything about viola sizes, then just see the link below uh, to the video that I made about viola sizes. Well, why is it important to have a violin that is the right size? Well, to play the violin easily and beautifully, we must have a good violin hold and that's only possible when your violin is the right size. When your violin is too small, it's too much right here and it's very hard to, um, to put your fingers in the right uh, spots. And uh, when your violin is too big, then um, you have to stretch your arm and kind of force things and you might get an injury and if you don't get an injury, playing is well, will cost a lot more effort. So it's really important to get the right size. Well, which sizes are there? Uh, it goes from 4 fourth, which is the standard adult size, up to, well, let's say 1 16th. Some, sometimes you see 1 64th, but uh, that's not really regular. Um, everything from 3 fourth uh, down are children's sizes and a 4 fourth and 7 eighth are uh, uh, adult sizes. Well, these are not exactly like a, 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 a half violin is half the length of a normal violin, so it's actually not a very logical name. Um, but you really need to fit them. I've made a table um, about the, uh, the measure uh, length of your arm versus the violin you should have and the age of your child. Uh, so if you follow the link below uh, to my site, you can watch that uh, table about children's sizes and how long your arm should be. So when you go with your child to the violin shop, you must put a violin under his or her chin uh, that it touches your neck. And then you should stretch your arm uh, and see if the scroll of the violin, so the end of the violin, is uh, on the wrist, that's the ideal size, uh, below or maybe a little bit in the palm of your hand. Uh, when it's uh, in the palm of your hand, the violin is slightly too big. Uh, when it's below your wrist, it's slightly too small. So see which violin comes closest as possible uh, to the wrist. Another way is to stretch your arm and put your hand around the scroll and then your arm should be a little bit bent. So a little bit like this, but not uh, like that. So that's the way to measure it with your child. If you're not, uh, you don't want to just use it in my table, but you really want to see if it's right. And that's really the best way. Uh, and these are the same way if you're an adult and you have quite short arms or uh, small hands or you're short as a person, then you might consider a 7-8. And uh, several times in my violin shop, I've also sold a 3 4 uh, to adults. So really take what is uh, what is best for you, what's your best fit. Uh, nobody will see what size you have and uh, the most important thing is that you can play well and comfortably and beautifully. So I hope I've cleared all these strange violin sizes a bit up. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in another video. Bye bye!